Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and this is going to be a little bit different today. We're going to be looking at some physics in Skyrim, and no, I'm not going to be riding a horse around up mountains, so it's not like that. It's going to be doing with math and stuff like that, some basic physics. And I'm doing this because I have an in with the admin of the Physics is Awesome Facebook page, which has like a uh, like hundred thousand likes or something like that, so I just wanted to you know get my name out there, and this is how I was going to do it. I had to make a physics-related episode, and we're going to be doing some uh, experiments with the fall damage and gravity in Skyrim, trying to figure out exactly what is the gravity in Skyrim. Uh, it, like, what n what number can we equate to it? As on Earth right now, the gravity, the force of gravity, accelerates objects at 9.8 meters per second. And uh, we we I want to see what it is in Skyrim, and I have some uh, I've set up some experiments to do that to to find out exactly what it is, and uh, let's get started. We'll so I'll start out with some math here, guys, and uh, we'll also learn a little bit about fall damage and how it works. So even if you're not here for the physics and math part of it, you'll still get something out of it through like the learning of the Skyrim game, so you don't fall off stuff. Also, I'm going to go ahead and say, just sort of the beginning here, I'm not a math expert, nor am I a Skyrim developer, so I do not speak for Skyrim or the people who developed Bethesda Studios. I don't, I'm not an employee of them, so I don't know whether this information is completely accurate or whether my testing method was completely accurate. And most of the information that I got here, like the formula that you'll see in a second, was from the Wikipedia uh, for Skyrim. So please, if you want to see some more information about this, about damage, about anything, basically since it's a wiki, you can check out the Wikipedia and I will definitely have a link for that in the description for you guys. I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about how I'm going to conduct my experiment to find out what gravity is in Skyrim. I'm going to, firstly, I'm going to have my character on top of a tall object from which I'm going to jump from, and then I'm going to take damage, obviously, from falling. And the game has some very specific mechanics on how it deals with damage from falling, and you can see in front of you that there is the equation right there. It is fall damage equals height minus 600 times 0.1 to the 1.45 power. And this is going to be how we're going to determine exactly how tall our fall was. And then once we determine that, I will also figure out how long it took to fall. And then we can use those two pieces of information to figure out exactly how long and what the gravity is in Skyrim. So let's get started. So we have my lovely model, Rhinel, here, and uh, she is going to jump off the building for us in a few seconds. I've gotten her to about like level 40. 40, 45. So she has a pretty huge health pool to deal with. So once we do take damage, it's not we're not going to die instantly. We're going to be able to actually take an amount of damage and see exactly how much it was, so that we can get the closest results possible, and we're not just guessing and uh, having to deal with overkill. Okay, so we're going to be jumping off here, and ooh, oh, that looked like it hurt. However, you can now. Oh, I just did that so to make sure it loaded the health, and you can see here that we've lost a total of 292 health, I believe. I know the math is right, and it'll be right on the next slide for you guys. So we take that 292, and we plug it into our equation here, and we get the answer of 1,088 something. We don't know what it is. Is it What unit is it? Well, actually, I looked it up on the Wikipedia, and apparently, from the information that I got there, the uh, numbers are divided into units of 64, and 64 of like these question mark units equals one yard so you divide that by 64 and you get about 17 yards and 17 yards in meters since I know all my physics in meters for some reason I'm I don't know I'm like yards is just a weird unit to use when you're doing physics so I transferred it to meters and that's actually 15.5 meters in the standard unit so we have our height now and the only other information that we need is our time to fall which I figured out to be 1.2 seconds and the way I did that was by watching that clip that I just showed you guys of me falling and I counted the frames that it took for me to fall and then obviously since I was running the game at 60 frames per second and I had it locked in it was I got around 1.2 seconds of course so now that we have all of our data all we have left to do now is to plug it into this equation that I found it's h equals velocity that we start out with times time plus one half at squared. And since we're doing a free fall equation where velocity was zero when we started and the only thing that changed our speed and everything, we started at zero speed, so all we need to do is to put a zero in for velocity times time, and then we can just take that whole part of the equation out and we get h equals one half at squared. And then when we plug, all we have to do is simply plug in our 
15.5 and 1.2 into their respective slots, h for height, t for time, and we get an answer of 22.5 meters per second squared for our acceleration. And that is ridiculous when you think about it, and Earth only has 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration. So basically in Skyrim, you're doing more than twice the amount of acceleration on yourself when you jump off of an object and allow gravity to pull you down. Now this is also going to mean that the actual force around Skyrim is going to be more on you. So like if you're trying to walk, it's going to be even harder, twice or more as hard as it is on Earth. So just so you guys know, like that these people in Skyrim live a very tough life, and you need to know that it's really dangerous to jump off stuff. Anything more than two stories basically will kill you. And that basically means if you'll take a look at this graph, that you your the damage range where you can actually fall and take damage is smaller than the range that you can jump and not get hurt at all. So be very careful when you're taking your leaps in the world of Skyrim, guys. Uh, if there's there's going to be another part of this video where we're going to actually talk about the composition of the planet Nirn, which is the name of the planet that Skyrim is on. If you'll notice, Skyrim is only a very small portion of the world. It's actually just the real like region, it's similar to in Oblivion, the region that you're playing in is Cyrodiil. So there's a huge world that's out there, and it's made of something. And with this information that we derived today, we can find out what it's actually made of and surmise how big it could be. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and I hope I taught you something, and I hope that this works with my physics in, and that we get a nice viewership on this video. Please like and subscribe, and really, I'm doing this to show you that I can promote my Let's Plays, so please go check those Let's Plays out if you'd like. And if you've never seen Let's Play before, because it's very possible that some of these people coming from Facebook have never seen one before, then it's just me playing games and talking about it, and if you've liked me talking about physics so far, maybe you liked me watching to watch me play games. I don't know. Check it out, please. Thanks again. Spray and pray out. And you might have thought that I had forgotten, but no I did not. Here are the blooper reels that I promised you at the beginning.